Good morning guys, it's Wednesday, it's like 4 a.m., 4.15, I just got up, obviously rolled out of bed, gonna go to the gym, but first the contest ended, so I'm gonna check right now and see, see how it went. Bracket is completed. Okay, but who's the winner? <laughs> That was close though. That was really close. Chelsea's awesome. I love her. I know it was probably hard for you guys to pick. But we did it. People's Jam. <laughs> I don't know what this means now, but I know it means I'm going to probably start doing intros saying, Hey guys, People's Champ here. <laughs> I think that's all that means. Is that I can see that, but it's really cool. Um, <clears throat> I wish I didn't look so hideous right now, but thank you guys so much for voting. This is awesome. I don't really know what this means right now, but I'm super excited. Thank you guys. I know you've been voting for like, well, it feels like a month, right? Like the contest has been like a month long, so it's it's been a while. You guys have been in it with me voting every day. Super appreciate it. Um... Yeah, you guys are the best. Love you all. It was really freaking cool to see in the people's champ. So, not a bad way to start my Wednesday. So, um, yeah, gonna get, gonna get ready now. Process the win, process it, and head to the gym. <laughs> minutes of cardio and I wanted to get Shredded Jesus's reaction to the people's choice. It's amazing. How you feel about that? Good. I will, what what I will, time did you wake up? I woke up at 12.02 to go pee. And I never wake up at midnight. I usually wake up at 2. Mm -hmm. I woke up at 12.02. Had to go check my phone. I was excited to see how <laughs> that care keeps sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, I, I told him he could not wake me up because if it was if I didn't win, I was not going to be able to go back to sleep. And if I did win, you weren't gonna be able I wasn't going to be able to go back to sleep. So, yeah, it was pretty exciting. Would you text me? Motherfucking people's champ here. <laughs> Motherfucking people's champ checking in. What, what? I'm going to do that a lot, probably. It's going to get really annoying and you guys are going to regret probably voting for me. No, that's her, that's her new intro. You're going to be like, this bitch is annoying. And, and sort of, hey guys, Kara here. Hey guys, hey guys. People's champ. Alright. Brian time. Crystal sky.
What's up guys? I am taking my lunch break now, waiting for shredded Jesus, and we are going to, well I'm here at Core, which is one of my favorite um, little, it's not really a restaurant, it's kind of a little salad place that I really enjoy, so we're going to get a quick celebratory lunch, celebrate being the people's champ. I love that. So um, yeah, I'm going to get a salad, I'm starving, it's been a busy Busy work morning. I've gotten absolutely nothing done that I need to get done. Feel like that's how it is every day at work. I write a to-do list and then I don't touch it. Not good. Not good. I feel very incomplete every work day because just stuff comes up, you know, and takes priority. So um, what can you do? Hopefully, hopefully I can knock one thing off my list this afternoon, but we'll see. Shredded Jesus is here. Let's find him now. That's cool. Welcome to Core with Shredded Jesus. Lunch date. Lunch date where it's probably not probably not going to be too quick. Where the line is ginormous. The line is huge. But he's is Core. This is like the only place in Syracuse to get a good salad. What is up guys? Um, my camera died on me when we were in core, so I did not get to give you the rundown of my food, but I did take a nice little snapshot for the Instagram that we're gonna post right, right here. And Jason and I both just got salads with chicken, veggies, always a good meal at core. Um, they're just a local place, but really awesome place if you're in the Syracuse area. Um, had a delicious lunch, felt very healthy after that. Um, work day today was rather cuckoo crazy. Just very, very busy. Didn't get a chance to do anything I needed to get done. Lots of talking, lots of walking, talking, talking and walking to people. And um, it's one of those days where it kind of felt like emotionally wiped at the end of the day. I've spoken about this before, but um, it can be really hard because for me, sometimes when I feel that drained emotionally, I'm like, oh, I deserve, I deserve some froyo, you know, is what I say. And it's hard because in those moments, like that's all you see, like you get your mindset on something and um, it's not out of hunger, it's definitely psychological and you don't think about anything else. It just feels like that's your reward, that's what's gonna make you feel good. And when you, it, it goes two ways. You can choose to indulge in it and temporarily feel good, but the emotions that you're feeling that caused you to eat are still gonna be there. 
you know? So if I chose to um, go have froyo or a milkshake or something because I was stressed or felt like overwhelmed, like those feelings aren't gonna go away just because I eat froyo. Like they're probably gonna be there when I'm done. I might start thinking about them and maybe I'll also then start feeling feelings of guilt for, you know, going off plan perhaps or, you know, knowing I didn't need it. Or the other way it could go is you're just like, I don't give an F, I'm having a craving and I want to indulge in it. And that's totally cool. I feel like those are two separate things between having a craving and just listening to your body, which I 100% support, totally, totally agree with, um, especially when you're not in competition prep, just living life. Um, but, you know, there for me, I know I like want to eat for emotional reasons like way more than I should. I'm like very cognizant of that. Yet just cuz you're aware of it doesn't mean it's easy to stop that. So the first step is being aware, all right? Got it. And then the second step is what are you going to do about it in those situations? And I don't have the answers, guys. I don't. I I can help guide people and it's hard for me because sometimes I feel like you know being a dietitian I'm supposed to have all my shit together right but reality is a lot a lot a lot of dietitians are in the field because they had some type of issue with food somewhere in their life now I've mentioned this before I've never had an eating disorder but you know probably clear to most I have never really had the healthiest relationship with food I really, really have it, and that would probably be a whole separate video that if people are really interested in that, I can certainly take you through my history with food and where my um, relationship with food stems from. If you guys are interested in that, comment below. Um, I don't mind talking about it. Clearly, I'm pretty open about that kind of stuff, but, um, you know, it's hard for me to sit here and do these videos when I coach people and people pay me to help them through this kind of stuff, but, you know doesn't mean I'm bad at helping people or knowing the right things to do just because I don't always implement it. Um, you know, I clearly am a disciplined person and I can discipline myself, but, you know, I'm also human and stuff happens and I, you know, I fully admit I eat for reasons other than hunger. Um, so it's just kind of number one, being aware, like I said, and number two, thinking about what are you going to do about it? What you know, if you can, in that moment, step back and think about what what other things could you be doing that will make you feel good. Um, do you want to work out? Could you um, go treat yourself to something? Could you go do something for relaxation? You know, if it's a time of stress, maybe finding another coping mechanism that helps you relax. Um, could you watch YouTube videos that help get you kind of re-inspired and get you back in the right mindset? Um, so all those kinds of things are things to think about and try to implement. Um, what else was I going to say? Holy rambles, McGee. I've got like 900 things I feel like I could ramble about. It's so funny, but yeah, when I go to do the video, <laughs> they go poof and I can't, I can't pull them out and then I'm all over the place, all over the board. I think I'm going to call this car confessions with Kara. How do you guys like that? Because I feel like I'm always giving you these mini heart-to-hearts and my little Chevy Sonic. Yes, I drive a Chevy Sonic. Sorry to disappoint. Nothing special here. But that's just how I roll. It's easiest. Um, because I think a lot in my car. And then I can also, uh, when I get home from work, hand Jason the camera and there you go, buddy. Edit it away. I am done. Um, but anyways, I was going to say that... Um, for me, um, I've had a lot of people like writing for like questions and things for me to answer on my Instagram. I asked what you guys wanted to hear, and one of the things someone wrote was talking about weight gain and how to deal with it. You know, how to kind of be okay with it. So this is clearly something I can speak to because if y'all haven't noticed, I have gained a little weight, <laughs> clearly. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I've. I'm like not currently comfortable. I feel like I'm like, oh shit, how did you do this again, Kara? Like, again, you've gained more weight than you wanted to post competition. Like, am I at an unhealthy weight? No, but am I where I wanted to be? And my 
off season goal? No. However, here's the thing. I've learned and the best advice I can give about weight gain, whether you're someone who's actively choosing to bulk or you're someone who has um, just gained weight due to whatever is going on, the best advice I can give is to be okay with that, you know, because odds are the decisions you're making are causing you to gain weight. So either you're purposely bulking and choosing to bulk for whatever reason to gain more muscle, to gain strength, to, you know, whatever reason, you're probably choosing that path, you know? So be okay with it. It doesn't mean it's easy. There's several people, like Jason, for instance, who when he bulks, it's hard for him. He has to force himself to eat. He feels full. He literally will feel sick with the amount he has to eat to bulk, to put on that extra weight, to help push more weight in the gym, to help make gains year after year. It's hard for him. It's hard for him physically and mentally. It's hard to see your body changing, you know? So you, for someone bulking, you have to just remember what your goal is. Why are you doing it? You know, so in terms of a bulk, you have to remember that purpose and think about that goal, that end goal. You know, if you're someone who's just gaining weight, um, can't keep your shit together, <laughs> um, i.e. this girl, um, no, I'm not really weighing myself too much because like I said, I just, I've kind of fallen like away from wanting to weigh myself wanting to be so focused on the numbers, on the contest prep. I know you should do all these things to have a good off season. I get it, it's the science. I totally understand it, I totally support it. But like I've mentioned before, mental health for me is number one. And the less I have to stress about each and every food decision I'm making, whether I'm eating out at a restaurant like I did today for lunch, is the sodium gonna make me blow? How much fat was in that marinated chicken? Like, I just can't do it right now. So, for me, I need to remember, so I've gained some weight. Yep, my chubby cheeks are back. That's cool. A lot of you say I look healthier with my chubby cheeks. Um, do I have abs right now? Absolutely not. And that's okay. Like, could I? Sure. Sure as shit. I can shred this shit down like real quick if I really want to, if it's really that important to me. But bottom line is, it's clearly not that important to me because I'm not being that strict. I'm not being that focused on it. And that's a decision I'm making. You know, I, I choose to make this decision. Um, I choose to be more lenient with my food. Um, I choose to have cheat meals. I choose to not count macros certain days. I choose to act, like be aware that I'm going over macros on certain days to live my life. Is it right? Is it wrong? Who cares? I'm not going to stress it right now. Is that right for possibly competing in the fall? Maybe not. Maybe not. But you know what? I need to live in the present and I'm going to live in the present and I'm going to do my best. It's not easy. It's not like I have my crap together, but I'm doing my best to actively live in the moment, live in each day, and learn to be okay with my decisions because ultimately the power is in my little hands, okay? And if I'm really that unhappy with my body, if I'm really that unhappy with my weight or how much fat I've gained, things like that, then I have a choice. I can choose to cut things back. I can choose to be more strict. Um, I can choose to not participate in so many little eating activities. Um, I can do that. Or I can just say, I can embrace this period of time that I'm for once being lenient, that I'm for once not being so restrictive, um, and embrace it. The issue is just not beating yourself up about it. Go one way or the other with it and be okay with it. Not an easy thing to do. It's something that I struggle with still. You know, I sit here and say this to you guys, but I still struggle with beating myself up every single day for um, whatever, <laughs> you know? It's like, I, you know, I choose to be the, do what I, I need to do or do what I feel is best for me and I can still beat myself up about it. And I think that's, that's just common, you know? So, 
I don't know what the hell I just said to you guys. <laughs> like, this went all over the place, but the question was how to deal with the weight gain, and my simple answer for that is to to not stress that, to, to figure out if you're trying to gain weight, then just be okay with it. And if you're not trying to gain weight, but you know you're actively doing things that are causing you to gain weight, then you have to take responsibility for that and you have to change it. And if you're someone who's struggling with it and you don't know why you can't change it, maybe that is, that is a time that you have to seek help, um, seek therapy, or just talk to someone in your life who maybe has an outside perspective to give you a little feedback on maybe what's going on, you know? Maybe you're, you are unhappy in other areas of your life that are causing you to um, use food as a comfort. So that's kind of my long-winded ramble. Sorry, this turned into a much longer vlog than I had anticipated. Again, now that I've had time to process things and I'm awake, oh my God, thank you guys so much. We won this. You guys won this for me. Like, I can't even. Can you believe it? Can you? This is nuts, right? Like little old me, like little little channel, like compared to all the other channels. It just goes to show you like, I don't know, what, what we have created with this channel is incredible. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe some people would think I'm making a big deal out of this, but it is a big deal to me. And it does mean the world to me. And it shows me that the years of work and things that I've put out there on YouTube, the time I've taken out of my personal life to share, to try to help other people, it makes a difference because you guys wouldn't have taken the time out of your lives that you just took for like the last month to vote for me if I didn't make a difference one way or another. So really, really appreciate it. So badass. People's champ. Motherfucking people's champ. Um, yeah very very excited to say that so thank you guys so much you're awesome um yeah so i think i'm gonna end here because i'm gonna keep talking and it's 14 minutes holy shit all right guys i will see you in the next one give it a like and i don't have to tell you to vote anymore it feels kind of weird but hey if you're a new subscriber please subscribe if you don't already and keep checking back for more Climbed. <laughs> so did our deck cushions. What the fuck? Yeah, I nominated you for the slime bucket challenge. And I GoPro'd it at the same time. What the fuck? It's like someone jizzed on me. Like Slimer just jizzed on me. That's exactly what I said. And our neighbors are outside. That's amazing. You don't hate me. I told YouTube you're probably going to hate me.